Hey hey survivors, welcome to a new video with Paul, and welcome to part 2 of my series about the new Nexus struggle event. In today's video we look at match days 2 and 3 as we experience them on the PTR test server. After we had successfully occupied the level 2 city and the 4 villages on match day 1, we moved on to the next building on match day 2, and this is the level 1 checkpoint. So we ported to this checkpoint. The principle of the checkpoint is the same as that of cities and villages, except that there are no infected that you have to kill before occupying the checkpoint. After the first occupation, use the besiege button again to send marches to the checkpoint and reduce its durability to zero. Believe it or not, the level 1 checkpoint is really all there is to do on match day 2. In my opinion, this checkpoint could be integrated into match day 1, because most alliances will have completed match day 2 in a few minutes. But beware! If you port to the next area on the map after the level 1 checkpoint, your settlement can be attacked by other alliances. Troops wounded during the daily match duration will be returned at 100%. On the test server it is not a problem to lose troops, we often receive troops there. But of course it can become a problem in the live game. Match day 3 is about the level 5 city, so we port there. And the same principle applies to the level 5 city as to the level 2 city and the villages. First the infected have to be killed, then you have to occupy the level 5 city and send marches with the besiege button to reduce the durability to zero. However, the durability is higher than with the level 2 city. Just like on match day 1, on match day 3 you also have to occupy 4 villages after the city. Please note that reducing the durability for these villages also costs stamina. After the 4 villages we found out that we could attack the level 1 checkpoint of one of our opponents, unfortunately, we weren't able to test whether we could have attacked this checkpoint at the beginning of match day 3. As usual, at the end of each match day you will receive a report about the result of the alliance. That's the end of it for today. I will of course keep you updated as the event progresses, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon with more new videos.